Hi, and welcome to today's Two Minute Table Talk. My name is Michelle, I'm a physical therapist. I've been a therapist for over 20 years, and I've done work with hundreds of knee replacement patients. And today we are going to uncover why most of the knee replacement information on the internet sounds the same, and there's some really good reasons for that. We're gonna utilize the following principles. One is follow the money, and the second one is it's generally not a good idea to piss off your customer. We're gonna look at the following realities, authority sites, what they are, and how they impact searching for information, sponsorship and advertising, where to find that information, and how it impacts uh, the kind of information you're gonna get, editorial guidelines, policy statements, and what content farms are. So let's uh, head back out of this note here and uh, let's go right to the internet. Now, this is where I have already done a search in Google for knee replacement information. Of course, you could enter a bunch of different um, keyword um, topics uh, that'll you know get you different, slightly different results. But um, what we're gonna look at here is of course the top three, four results are ads. The um, first result here, and I'm not going to go into every result, but this is this is an authority site. It's a doctor-related site. It's produced by the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons. Again, a good site. Uh, the doctors have excellent information here. They have information as well about you know some negative things, uh, problems after surgery, things like infections, um, and they're they're pretty fair-minded in how they present the information. Um, so let's jump back uh, to this search results, and you're going to see, we're going to just take a look at these. This is medicinenet.com, WebMD, WebMD. This is a um, authority, uh, arthritis health site. This is Healthline, Medline. Plus. Okay, so a lot of these you probably know, right? And you've been already searching and you see these. Well, let's start with this one. My knee guide isn't on the top ten on the search results we just looked at, but it's a familiar one that you might know. Now I've gone to, I've already gone to this link down here found on the footer, and I've migrated to their sponsorship site where it tells us that they provide patients an up-to-date interactive and comprehensive tool for, pay, for knee replacement surgery. Sponsorship allows my knee guide to provide these services free of charge to its users. And this is what you, this is a recurring theme that you're gonna see over and over again that they get the money from the people who make the money on knee replacement surgery and then provide the content free to you. Let's look at here. Here are the people who provide the medical sponsorship. And as you can see, the surgeons, the implant manufacturers, hospitals, and other allied health professionals are all the ones sponsoring this content. So the content will be pretty vanilla, giving you, you know, a nice version of what is about to happen to you. An example would be this page. There's nothing wrong with this content. It is all basic content. But this is the stuff that I'm trying to tell you you need to get beyond to get to avoid the real pitfalls. So medicine.net. Medicine.net is actually owned and operated by WebMD. They are part and parcel of the same conglomerate. And they're going to have the same issues as the other site. Here's their editorial policy. Now they are going to try to tell you in this editorial policy that, well, they actually have a medical education board for new content and they make sure that anybody who is advertising on the side or, or who may be sponsoring content is not allowed to influence content. Okay, well that's all nice and everything, but if your money is coming from them, you are influencing uh, the content, I guarantee you. Okay, that's another example of a page. And let's look at WebMD because these guys, again, are part and parcel of the page I was just on and I've already migrated to the our sponsor page where we learn that WebMD has regularly sought sponsorships and advertisements from relevant commercial organizations manufacturers and other leaders dedicated to providing health and lifestyle information 
these sponsorships, which are a form of advertising, enable us to provide you with our award-winning content. And again, there's where you see that at no cost to you. So you're actually paying a price to get this content filtered to you through the very companies that are going to make money off you doing this surgery. And here is a piece of content that actually is sponsored. Now this is actually written by a sponsor. So if you just landed on this page and you saw the how to prepare knee replacement, how to prepare for knee replacement surgery, you saw that it was reviewed by a doctor, oh that's good, I trust this, so here's the content. But in reality, up here is where it's telling you, it's brought to you by the Hospital for Special Surgery, it tells you that right here, and it also tells you that over here. Not only that, you've got a banner for Hospital for Special Surgery and another banner on the right side. So this whole piece of content is created for, actually, by this group. Okay, so I've, I've migrated now to Healthline. It's another big site. We've gone down here to their ad and sponsorship policy that is supposed to be reassuring you. They're saying here that other than the input about broad topic areas, we never allow sponsors to influence the content we create. So they go on, we choose the ads, we don't source the products, um, we clearly distinguish ads from editorial. Does, any, does this make anybody feel anybody any better? When in reality, you know where your um, bread is buttered, essentially. Okay, the last little thing we're going to look at here is Health Day. They are what you would call a content farm. They provide content, and you can see down here in the blue, uh, a minimum of 15 daily articles written for health professionals across 32 medical specialties. So other big groups like Medline, like HealthNet, uh, or MedicineNet rather, would be paying these guys to create their content. So we, we have to go back to that principle, is if the content that they write is going to be purchased by sites who get their money from the people who make money off surgeries, do you think that these guys are going to provide content or they're going to have, they're going to <laughs> live to write another day if they're providing content that is critical of those entities? Yeah, right. So you know the answer to that. Okay, so let's go back here and summarize. I think we've, we've had enough uh, of touring the internet for today. And so bottom line is determining who is controlling the information and or who is paying for its distribution will go a long way towards your being able to identify versions of the story that might be more fiction than reality. And the bottom line is everyone knows a few people who have had a knee replacement. Some turned out great and others not so much. You want information that will help your surgery be one of the winners. I am going to be helping you do that. We're going to be taking this thing apart step by step, and we're going to give you the underlying information that really is not talked about on these sites that we looked at today. Okay, so that's been a two-minute table talk. In fact, it's probably a little bit too long. But anyways, we will see you on the next video. Thanks.